Hello everyone and welcome welcome to another historic video. So Explore Anthology released yesterday. Couldn't really play it much because of the downtime. And there was an archetype that I really wanted to try. And that is going to be this colorless deck. Now this is going to be kind of a janky deck. Well I wouldn't say janky because it does work. The deck is functional. But compared to the power level of some of the cards in historic per se, you could say it's quote unquote janky because it doesn't compare well to the other cards in the format. But if you like colorless decks, try this out because it did get a huge boost through Explore Anthology. And that is through this card here, Donna Seer. This is probably one of the better additions to have come out recently for the colorless deck in Magic Arena. And that's because now we get to like keep opponents honest, especially the combo decks. It's a 4 mana 4-4. Four, four. When it enters the battlefield, you get to look at their hand and you get to choose a non-end card from it and exile that card. What's great is that even if it leaves the battlefield, opponent doesn't get the card back, but rather they get to draw a card. And the stat line for this card is obviously really great. It's a 4-4. Four, four. And not to mention, you get to do this on turn 3 if you Guardian Idol or Mind Stone into Donna Seer. That is a turn 3 Donna Seer, and especially versus a combo deck, you might just win the game on the spot because of you getting rid of the combo piece. So I do really like the addition of Donna Seer into Magic Arena. So I've been really looking forward to this. And speaking of combos, of course, we can also do the same with Karn. We get the Guardian Idol or Mind Stone into Karn on turn 3, which means that opponent Playing something like Char Vulture, for instance, or Ether Flux Reservoir would not be able to activate it. And here's a sideboard that I'm going to be using for the Karn. Again, versus a combo deck, for instance, the Ashnod's Altar combo deck with the Ominous Traveler. Karn already does stop the Ashnod's Altar, but if you want to make it harder for them, you can also grab a Damping Sphere from the sideboard on the battlefield, making it difficult for opponent to cast their Ominous Traveler. And as you can see, we are also playing Ornithopter and Retrofitter Foundry. Since we do also play them in the main deck, we do need some blockers for us to survive until we get the Karns or Forsaken Monument down. So that's going to be the purpose for those. And we also have a Tormod's Crib to exile opponent's graveyard, extra copy of Forsaken Monument, which is also in the main deck, to buff all our colorless creatures and making all of our mana tap for additional mana. Then we got a copy of Cityscape Leveler as a permanent destruction spell. And lastly, one copy of Portal to Praxia as a kind of a pseudo board to wipe. As for the mid range plan, we do have some sort of interaction in the decks. The four copies of Portable Hole is a must, especially in best of one. And we also have a copy of Settle the Wreckage. I know we don't play enough white sources to support Settle the Wreckage. That's why we only have one copy of it. You could add four more white sources in the deck. You could look into playing the other dual lands, the other colored white pain lands. And lastly, on the top end, we're going to be casting three copies of Ugin and a copy of Ulamog through the ramping of Forsaken Monument. But that's going to be it for the intro. I'm going to be jumping into some historic game to show you guys how the deck does. But before we head on out, if you guys enjoyed the video so far, leave a like, comment below, subscribe, and let's hop on over. Hmm. No action. If opponent's like not a creature deck, but they're probably a creature deck, right? I'm gonna try keeping this. It's probably wrong without like mind stone and stuff. Okay. Uh, something like, um, two mana mana rock could be really nice here. Okay, not bad, not bad. At least I'm playing something. The fact that I'm not ramping doesn't feel good. Because now, um, you, you know. Hmm. Yeah, this doesn't feel good.
I'm gonna take the two, uh, three. And create this. See what they got. Double Crater Hull. Okay, that's kind of scary. I'm not sure if they can cast it without tapping the Elvish Arch Roots, though. In which case, like, I don't think it's that scary. I mean, I'm still gonna take a lot of damage here, but... A land would be nice. So they can only attack with the Crater Hook Behemoth. Which is just a 5-5. Five five. Just a 5-5 five five dummy. So we somehow got there. Which is kind of crazy, honestly. Yeah, sure, we take five, but at least they're not killing me with another Crater Hope Behemoth, right? <laughs> okay, that's kind of scary. That is kind of scary. What's cool is that the Retrofitter Foundry now creates a 3-3 instead of a 1-1, one, one, so... We can crew the Sky Sovereign console flagship. Yeah, this was a really good one. Three creatures. We keep drawing land. Which is not ideal. But I imagine they're going to lose soon. So we can just uh, remove um, Crater Herb Behemoth from attacking and then we'll, we'll just win. Unless they have like Reach. I don't think they do. I legit think this was like one of the worst start we could even ask for it like we didn't have any mana rocks on turn two which is pretty bad for a deck gg the for forsaken foundry with like the retrofitter is actually kind of insane, if you ask me. So much mana. GG. That was crazy. And you can kind of see, like, the power of pain lands um letting this deck cast like off color stuff but it also produces colorless mana which is the important part for this deck hmm again we don't have a two mana rock but considering we're going second i think it's um Doable. So this is shock. Ha 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 ha. this is why this this combo is absolutely broken. 
This is why this combo is absolutely broken. It buys this deck so much time. Like, we don't necessarily even need to attack with this. We just use it as a blocker. And that's what this deck actually needed before. We have removal spell. We have a 4-4 four, four on turn, turn 1. This is great. Oh no, they don't they don't realize. This is great. Awesome. Wow. We just love getting this hand, huh? Like without any mana rocks, but with like portable hole on turn one. Hmm. I assure you, there are eight copies of them in this deck. I just haven't seen them. We just haven't seen them. They take the portable hole, and I think... I know why. They have Blood Tide Harvester, probably. Or a Croxa. Man. Okay, so there's a Croxa. I think I think we need to ditch Mystic Forge. The reason being is because of um, Liliana, so that they we have another sacrifice target for uh, the creature. I could just Karn here too, but I think the plan is uh, I Karn. Grab the Retrofitter, and then Ornithopter. So this turn, I'm going to Thought Thanos here. Bone Crusher Giant. Okay, so they do have a bunch of Lilianas. We'll take the Molten Impact. I'll play uh, the Ornithopter to protect uh, our Thanos here from getting sacrificed. And I believe... I'd love to grab it, everything else, but I actually think it's uh, another warning after. Because opponent has Lili Liliana, but they can fatal push this turn since they didn't have uh, another mana here. This makes it really awkward for the Liliana. And next turn we grab Forsaken Monument and everything's going to be like huge. Okay. Where is it? What is happening? Every hand is the same. We've had this hand every single game. Uh Arena client? Question mark? Something's wrong with your game. It's not a bad hand. It's not a bad hand. 
It is not a bad hand by any means. But I would really like to see a mana rock on turn two. That would be incredible. Another elf deck. Where I get to go second, which is not the greatest. Definitely not. Wow, that's uh I think that's like sure actually a wrap. Whatever I take, I lose the game. Fierce Empath, I lose the game. Collect the company, I lose the game. Elvish Warmaster, I lose the game. That's a bit unfortunate. Guess I have to take the pure Simpa. Man. We haven't gone rock on turn two into turn three thought not here once. Not once. Not once. One day, we'll get Mana Rock. But today's not the day. I think that's a loss, right? I bunch of lands with nothing to do. Giganta, so I'm playing against Wizards, probably. Oh, I'm not. What am I playing against? I wonder if it's bugged. Am I just not allowed to draw any of the any of the rocks? I mean, I, I do have it. Like, look, four mind stones and four guardians idol. It does exist. <laughs> what? It's uh okay. I mean, they didn't even mulligan, right? They just have three combo pieces. If it's just one, I could make do with it, but three copies. <laughs> Mulligan. Oh my god, there it is. There it is. Mind Stone into Thought Not Seer. That's so crazy. It took me... It took me like five games to achieve this. Nuts.
Okay. Is this the slowest elf ever? I require a land. Land. Hmm. All this time I've been flooding. Now you're not gonna give me a land? That's crazy. I feel like it's snakeskin veil. Nah, it's probably this. No way. Um, hello, Dank. Any Landos? There you are. Kill that one. Next turn is going to be fun. I've also been noticing a lot of people playing the Land or Elf Tribe. I wonder if this is due to the fact that there's a lot of burns going on. Create a 2-2 two, two bear creature token and put two 1-1 one, one counters on each creature you control. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of scary. That is kind of scary. You attack? Plus one, plus one counter, and you gain hexproof. That is, um... A thing. And we just cast this. Now everything is huge. Humongous. I'm gonna sit one more turn. They have a snakeskin veil. So they can like make it like indestructible. So Sky Sovereign's not really gonna do much right now. Next turn we get to win anyways. If we cast Forsaken Monument into Ugin. So... Whoa, that is some spice. That is some spice. GG's. All right. We've finally done it. Mindstone into Thanasir. I can't believe it took me this long to actually get this combo off. That's that's nuts. <laughs>